all right we are back we are this time we are looking at the tool topology now topology is not really a tool but let's understand what a topology is because it, be, it could be a useful tool for when you're in the knot so i got the definition of topology up it's basically the physical and logical arrangement of network nodes you know on like a graph or chart etc so I'm gonna show you guys an example of that and why topology is so important. All right, let me show you some examples. And these are some topologies I see at work a lot. Um, for example, we have a Domino's router. All right, this is like your standard topology. It's basically like a graph on how the nodes are connected to, to each other, what ports, what devices are connected to what ports. And this helps what future Noptex future network engineers understand the layout of the network. All right, so for in this example, you have a Domino's router, and port one is connected to the point of sale terminal, port two is connected to the access point, port three, some third party app, camera, um, port four, a backup router, and then um, internet port and modem. All right, that's just a standard example of topology. And this is very important when you're in the knot. This is another topology. Now this one's very advanced. So this one's a dual router, so it's redundant. So let's say if this router fails, we still got this router, all right? And we still got the pulse switch on the cells connected to both of these. So this is a redundant uh, topology of a network. All right, and you could, you could get real crazy with these topologies. It's kind of like art. It does imitate art a little bit. Let's see some more examples. Okay, we got a standard one. We got a modem. We got a router, Cisco router. Port one has the POS. Port two has the access point. And port three has some other uh, devices. All right, this is a pretty standard topology. And this is another good one. A PoE power over Ethernet injector. So instead of plugging um, the access, because think about it, access point. Instead of plugging that into an outlet and then plugging into a switch, having all these cords around, you could just use one cord to power it and send data over it. All right, so that's a PoE injector. Um, and we got more examples of this. Let me zoom in real quick. Right there. So instead of using that outlet, the PoE injector would charge the access point and translate, transfer that data between these two devices. All right, it's an example of a PoE. All right, power over ethernet. And then some more topologies. Different, um, different uh, vendors have different qualities for the network. All right, that's one thing you gotta know. You, you're gonna learn that in the knock when you're dealing with different vendors. They all have their own topology. And again, the dual router topology. All right. Spare router, primary router, just in case one of these fails, there is a backup plan. All right, so let me minimize this. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna make some topologies. We're gonna do this live. Let's make some topologies. And I'm gonna put an assignment at the end of this uh, lesson so you guys could practice making topologies. All right, so the first apology we're gonna make, let's make a point-to-point -to -point apology. All right, so we have that. See, I should probably name these. Right there, so this is PC1. PC2. Line. Like that. Pencil line. Man, that is a point to point connection. So this is an example of a point to point topology. All right, let's do one more. No, we're not saving that. <laughs> let's do, let's do a star topology. All right, again, look at these names. Star, bus topology, ring. Again, it resembles art in some fashion. Fashion. So we're gonna do a star topology. So let's do 
We'll make that the hub. It's a layer one network device. So that's the hub. And we're gonna add some PCs to it. So, Again, you want to be very descriptive in your topology. If you guys came from the ping um, section, that topology in packet trace is very verbose. It has the IP, device name, etc. PC. All right, and let's get the cord connected to the hub. This is what a star topology. All right, and I'm gonna link. I'm gonna provide a topology informative blog at the end of this lesson. It goes over a lot of topologies, very extensive. The benefits, the pros, and the cons of certain topologies. So, for example, in the star topology, if the hubs gets destroyed or shuts down, these PCs can't connect to each other. All right, but the benefit of the star topology, you could easily add a another PC into this network and it won't affect the network. All right. So that's just an example of topology. Again, it's very important in the networking field. You know, again, it's a logical and physical arrangement of nodes in the network. All right. So, all right, you guys take care. See you in the next lesson.